Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, we're going to talk about our three favorite, well not favorite, our th the three I divers. I hope not favorite, because these are not my favorite. They're not my favorite, <laughs> the, but the three divers that we think offer a ton of bang per buck. And obviously, we're joined by my business partner, John. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Good, man. Long time. Well, it's been a long weekend. It kind of feels like it's been gone forever, but... Well, let's make this a good one, right? <laughs> let's see what we have. So we each picked three dive watches we think offer a ton of bang for buck. But of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my Rolex OP uh, rhodium dial. Haven't worn it in a long time, but actually John gifted it to me, and I do really like it. Thank I'm you. a nice guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on my wrist is something Federico did not give to me. I think you can see how the, how the sides are turned here. I have a, a Rolex 1016 on my wrist, uh, frog foot dial, 1972, beautiful watch. I love this. Actually, he gave me an OP. I just my OP yeah. is not on the wrist. I today. don't like you enough to spend 20 G's or whatever it is that that thing costs. I'm <laughs> oh, so sorry. Oh, let's not, you know, let's not tell the people out there. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, and of course, one more thing before we get started. Check out Delray Watch. We just got in a Rolex Explorer 2 Polar Dial. We have not gotten these in a very long time. We have an IWC Big Pilot. Top Gun Ceramic, super cool, too cool for Tom Cruise, and a Blancpain 50 Fathoms, one of the coolest divers ever made. I think probably the first official diver ever made. All on DelrayWatch.com, the best place to buy pre-owned watches. Can you mention the Daniel Roth, actually? Because we got eight of them. Yeah, but only two left. I don't want to mention the Daniel Roths because they're going to sell anyway. So, yeah, we have Daniel Roths. So <laughs> so I'll talk about that in my video. Mm -hmm. how, how unbelievable. They, they... You, you don't want to you don't want to like mention things that are going to sell very quickly because it doesn't <laughs> age very well. I like the watch. <laughs> anyway, I guess I figured I'd start. Right? So, I think a watch that I think offers a ton of bang per buck that doesn't get enough love, it's a little overlooked, is a JLC Navy Seal. Mm. Now, Jaeger, of course, the watchmaker's watchmaker, in-house watches, known for their dress watches, known for their reversos, they make a dive watch line. You know, they make a chronograph version, a world-time version, an alarm version, uh, they make a normal version, and man, titanium, you know, titanium bezels, very light, you know... Uh, in-house movements, crazy quick-release straps on some of the models. I don't know, man. I think this watch offers a ton of bang per buck. You know, it's better than a sub. It, you know, it, no, not in my opinion. It is better than a sub. And, and it's, it's less expensive. Right. I can't believe when I see that watch and the prices are as low as they are, selling them pre-owned. I don't think we've actually had many of these. We don't have one right now. In, well, actually, we have a chronograph version right now, but that's a little different than what yeah. I was talking about. But I think in five years we've been doing this, we've maybe sold... Six. Fun fact, the, the, the black cased um, Navy SEALs on the Velcro strap, Bill Clinton wears this watch. Really? <laughs> yes. For you Bill Clinton fans, you can also dive in style. You think that's what he was wearing? <laughs> you think that's I don't think the watch was out yet, actually. They didn't have that model line. I was going to say, was that what he was wearing during, you know... Probably the, whole... the uh, Master Slim line. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Well, that's my first pick. What's yours? This is a vintage offering because some guys have been asking for it. A vintage offering. The whole list. Vintage, vintage dive watch. A dive watch you can't dive with. Well, you can dive with it. Now I'm not. In, I'm not guaranteeing <laughs> it's going to stay dry. <laughs> but for those of you that don't care, it's an Anacar Sherpa dive. And what I like about this, I mean, try to get the 40 millimeter size. They also made a 36 millimeter um, Sherpa dive. Mm -hmm. What I like about this is you get a lot of the look of like. A 5508 or 6538 Rolex watch for mm -hmm. literally the price, less than the price of a bracelet for one of those watches, you can get this watch. I mean, you can get this watch for maybe $2,000, 2500 And Enicar is on the rise. Enicar is on the rise. I own one. I think you've been looking at them as well. I have. I don't know if I'm ready yet, but you know, I, I, need, a, <laughs> I need a vintage watch in my collection. I think that might be a good contender. Yeah, so I like it. I think it belongs on the list. No, can't complain too much. And I guess the next one I'm going to go with is one that is appreciated, but it's very inexpensive and one that I love, and that is the Oris Diver 65. Ooh. Now, I'm going to start by saying the Oris Aquas is a better made watch, better materials, but the Diver 65 is a vintage reissue, and I just, I think it's beautiful. I, I love the domed crystal, I, I love the rotating bezel, I love the proportions, and generally pre-owned are usually are under a thousand dollars or just under, you know, just around the thousand dollar mark. 
I mean, you can't really complain. Yes, it's not the toughest dive watch. It's only 100 meters. Yes, it's not in-house. It's an Eta slash Solita. But Oris, a company with real history that has designed a watch that is truly beautiful and a ton of dial variations. I don't know, man. I I really like that watch. I love the 65. It's a classic. And they because they've come up with so many versions of it now, mm -hmm. it seems like they have a little bit of something for everyone and they fly off the shelves. When we get one in, it's gone. Oh, immediately. Day. Gone, gone, gone very quickly. But yeah, that's my number two. What about yours? Next, Omega Seamaster ceramic bezel, current generation or even the previous generation. So let's talk about the wave dial. Safe choice, but it had to be said because it's true. It's just it is true. true. It is true. I did a video a long time ago when this, actually with the flat dial, I believe, comparing it to the Rolex Submariner. And spec for spec, it beats the sub. Now, people in the comments, they say it all the time. Oh, no, it doesn't, blah, blah, blah. But it's just the facts. It does. It does. In every it does. single way. Now, sure, it doesn't have, you know, as... It doesn't have that Rolex steel. Even keep going, run. keep yeah, going. Yeah, it doesn't have the you know the, the extra you know hardened steel that Rolex uses. Mm -hmm. But do you need that? No, you don't. I mean, I think it, it beats it on every other spec. You can watch the video. Nine hundred four L is mainly used, kind of for marketing. I mean, it's got slightly more corrosion resistance. I'm not taking on Rolex too much. I'm wearing a Rolex. I got no problem with Rolex. But the Omega really is, bang per buck wise an equal or better watch true it, the interesting thing is rolex doesn't even use 904 anymore they use like a, their own variation of 904 which they call oyster steel and it's not even 904 so some of the benefits are, are like arguable at best but i don't want to get too controversial <laughs> and now i'm going to go with another one that won't break the bank uh which is actually strange for me because i tend to like the higher end stuff but the sim u1 okay it's a pretty fugly watch not gonna deny it i think it's hideous but it's tough as nails, very easily legible, bracelet or rubber strap option with great um, buckles. You've got tegmented versions and they're mm. so-called U-boat steel. Submarine steel. <laughs> Submarine steel, which, you know, another marketing gimmick kind of, but uh, I mean, it, it, that genuinely is, there's a bigger Do difference. Do you remember the guy that called us, by the way, giving us a lecture on the tegmented steel? I, I learned a lot more than, you know, I thought I <laughs> There was, like, a submarine uh, engineer that bought one of the watches, you know, this was years ago. We had it mislabeled as yeah. tegmented. It wasn't because it had the wrong car. It was a long time ago. Something like that. But we thank him, I and guess. A, a tegmented submarine engineer called us, <laughs> and he tested it, apparently, at his house. And listen, <laughs> we all make mistakes, but and that's honestly, why it made your list. It, well, I just think, listen, these are a great bang for buck. For in the low $1,000, yes, at a Salita powered, but made by a company who specializes in tough ass watches, mm. right? You know, you have a thousand variations. This really is one of the last few dive watches built to do a job. It is a tool and it better be a tool because it's ugly as all hell. I mean, it's about as handsome as a wrench. But, you know, it's a wrench. It's, you know, <laughs> it's, a wrench. It, it's got a cult following. And even I kind of have a little piece in my heart for it. Do you think you would buy one? Would you wear one? Yeah, I would. Really? I mean, I'd be ugly as hell, but I'd wear one. I mean, I'd wear one just because it's cool, but, you know, it wouldn't exactly be handsome. All of your fans are going to be waiting for you to add a Zin. I mean, it will eventually. It's great watches. I mean, I do think they go a little too far with the marketing hype. Uh, but then again, everybody's guilty of that. Got it. What's the, what's the last one, brother? Lastly is one that I know you like a lot, but I can't necessarily wear it because they don't have a smaller case size of this. It's only 42 and up, and they I think they actually stopped making the 42. It's 43 and up now, mm -hmm. and the 43 and 45 size. This is the Carl F. Bucher uh, Petravi Scuba Tech. It's like the, the designers at Carl F. Bucher were like, how can we make this sound like a dive watch? That's advanced, scuba like tech. scuba tech. Also, okay, honestly, one of my favorite watches ever, one of the best values ever, one of the worst names in the watch industry. Well, why don't you talk about it? I feel like you know and I love, this, love watch. this watch. and I'm pissed that I made your list and not mine because that would easily be on this list. Uh, listen, um, awful name, Carl F. Bucher, Petravi Scuba Tech. I mean, it's god-awful, but it's a super tough watch. They make in-house movements now, even though a lot of them are at a Salida based. Yeah. Great bracelet system, very great depth ratings, fantastic bezels, super tough. I don't know. I mean, listen, it's not the most elegant thing in the world. It's a big, chunky thing. Yeah. But 
I mean, I feel like it's kind of like a Zin. Like, it's a little bit more refi- refined and expensive than a Zin, but it's still a tool. It's like, imagine you took an, an Oris Aquis, you know, you get that Oris Aquis feel in that they have all these special editions, save the sea, yeah. save the dolphins, the whales, the <laughs> plastic in the mouth and all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and then, you know, really, look it up. They have all these, like, you know, they the do. Chinese sea and all this stuff. Um, and But it's like a more sophisticated, more expensive version, right? And But you can tell they... You know, some R&D went into that. It's more jewelry than you would get from an Oris. You know, it's more of that kind of like... But same functionality. The functionality well, even is, more. Not, is not like uh, sacrificed to make it pretty. Interesting. Most of this line is 500 meter water resistance in the large K size. And that's not real. Like sometimes Oris gives you that, but usually not. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Anyway, those are our six. I know dive watches are a popular segment. Guys... If you're looking at a sub or, or it's something else, take a look at these. You never know what you're going to find. You might even save a few bucks. Guys, thank you so much. Catch you in the next one. Take care.